And now the spiel wherein I ask, how is folding a gas station map or curing the common cold different from the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture? As you know, the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture describes the set of rational solutions to equations defining an elliptic curve. See, everybody knows that solving the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture is hard. It's hard to solve. That's why there's a million dollar prize for solving it. Everybody knows it's hard. Nobody thinks it's not hard. But folding a gas station map or curing the common cold or getting the Pacquiao Mayweather fight to go off. Now, those were things that nobody knew could be so complicated. So I ask you, which category does healthcare belong in? Donald Trump says, it's not like the Birch Swinnerton Dyer conjecture. It's more like folding a gas station map in that nobody knew that healthcare could be so complicated. See, I thought everybody knew that. I've even seen a supercut put together by Politico of President Obama saying that over and over again. You know, healthcare is complicated because our healthcare system is so complex. I suffer no illusions that this will be an easy process. Once again, it will be hard. Healthcare is complicated stuff. So let me explain what's going on here. Simple explanation is that Trump does not know what he's talking about. But that is not what's going on. This is how Trump communicates. See, Donald Trump, ever the showman, knows that when communicating, you want to avoid qualifiers. Those are weasel words. Some, many, most, often, a lot. So when Donald Trump says nobody, what he really means is something close to almost everybody. Example. So where are you on the environment? I'm still open-minded. Nobody really knows. I've Look, I'm somebody that gets it. And nobody really knows. It's not something that's so hard and fast. Nobody knows, meaning almost every informed scientist knows. In fact, most every informed citizen knows climate change is real. Likewise, there's nobody better, which in Donald Trump's mouth means actually millions of people are better. So many, many better people. Here's this example. If you look at Ivanka, you take a look and she's so strong, as you know, into the women's issue and child care and so many things should be so good. You, nobody could do better than her. So that's nobody. What about everybody? If nobody means pretty close to everybody, does everybody mean almost nobody? When Donald Trump says it, it does mean that. I released the most extensive financial review of anybody in the history of politics. It's either 100 or maybe more pages of names of companies, locations of companies, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, And it's a very impressive list. And everybody says that. Everybody says that except every single ethics expert I've ever heard from who all say it's inadequate. So everybody means almost nobody. Nobody means almost everybody. To wit, here are a couple things Donald Trump says he could do better than anybody or what he knows more than anybody. I think I know more about foreign policy than anybody running. And who could forget this? I can be more presidential than anybody. I can be more presidential if I want to be. I can be more presidential than anybody. You know, when I have 16 people coming at me from 16 different angles, uh, you don't want to be so presidential. You have to win. You have to beat them back, right? And But I would say more presidential, and I've said this a couple of times, more presidential than anybody other than the great Abe Lincoln. And I think everybody agrees with him on that. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. So the question is, if when everybody means closer to nobody and vice versa, what about the somebodies? We're all somebodies, right? When does Donald Trump refer to the somebodies, the some people? Here's when. When he needs to introduce a theory or crazily inaccurate statement that even he doesn't want to own. Some people, a lot of people, many are saying. Here he was at a campaign rally talking about how horrible the deal was that the U.S. cut with Iran. What, what's going on there? You, that's why I say, I mean, some people say it's worse than stupidity. There's something going on that we don't know about. I mean, honestly. And you almost think it. I'm not saying that and I'm not a conspiracy person. Nope. He's just reporting what people are saying. Like this. People are saying, many, many people are saying, you know, Trump is right. He's absolutely right about NATO. Some people tell me. A lot of people are saying, I'm just reporting here better than the failing New York Times, I might add. Here's another example of what some folks are saying. This time, it was about President Obama not sufficiently labeling the Orlando nightclub attack as Muslim terrorism. 
Well, there are a lot of people that think maybe he doesn't want to get it. A lot of people think maybe he doesn't want to know about it. And that's where the nobody knew healthcare could be so complicated idea comes in. Everybody knew it. But it's not that he's lying. It's not that he can't even speak the truth. It's that we don't speak Trump. And he expects us to, clearly, like when he talks to his crowds, including this time when the crowd consisted of all the media at his only press conference as president. Does anybody really think that Hillary Clinton would be tougher on Russia than Donald Trump? Does anybody in this room really believe that? No, not anybody. Everybody. So with this guide to Donald Trump, anybody can figure out what a certain somebody in the Oval Office means when he says everybody and nobody. Now, some people are saying this is not excusable, that there's another word for it. Rampant, wanton, uncontrolled lying. But everybody knows a president wouldn't do that, right? Anybody? You're nobody till somebody loves you. 